what is up guys so i came back down to the springs with the boys d almighty and jigging with jordan we got jake right here what's up guys how what's you guys up dude it's beautiful today a lot warmer so today. beautiful i'm excited to get in this thing man look oh, how yeah. beautiful that water is man, super is clear insane. Man. All right, so yeah, it was freezing cold last time we came down here I don't know if you guys watched the video But my boxers literally froze to the park bench that they were on where I left them to dry. It was not okay I'm down here in itch tuck and today I'm gonna do something a little bit different for you guys I'm gonna show you how to take over under photos So the first thing that you need when you want to do over under shots besides your camera is a dome port So I've got mine it goes to my water housing and you can see it's really big So this one's for my DSLR and you don't have to to get one that's super huge like this if you only have a GoPro you can get like uh, I think connect sells it and there's uh, something called like GoDome, and then I know that company SPL makes them and there's probably some third-party brands on Amazon that you can look at and they'll have them for cheaper but I promise you when you buy a better product you're gonna get better results from it so uh, I've got this super huge one. It's eight inches and it goes over my really big Sigma 14 1.8 lens And so basically once you've got the gear ready The first thing that you need to keep in mind when you're taking the over under shot is that when you're setting up your camera If you've got a DSLR what you want to do is put it on one shot focus mode if you've got Canon and I don't know what it's called on other cameras but basically you want to be able to press your shutter button and lock the focus in and then compose your shot afterwards because what I'll be doing in the water is I'm going to point the camera down get the focus on the subject and then bring it up to the middle so that the water line is right here and then I'm going to take my shots and I'm going to burst it so the faster burst that you have the easier it is to get a clean over under it's really important that you're bursting because the water lines typically going to be moving unless you're in some crazy calm zone like this and so you're not always going to get the shot on your first try sometimes I've gone out in the water in Hawaii when it's it's choppy and sat there for half an hour trying to get this over under shot and it sometimes it just won't work so you really want calm water and the next thing that you can do to help yourself with that is having a bigger port so if you do have a DSLR like me you might consider getting an 8 inch over like a 6 or a 4 inch port because it's just gonna be a little bit easier to get your over under with but then it's gonna be harder to take the camera underwater so you've got to consider this when you're choosing what you want to get so I think with that we're ready to get in the water Jake are you ready to be my model man I'm ready I'm being your model yeah is I'm that okay that beautiful but okay <laughs> So I'm gonna have Jake dive down a couple times for me and I'll walk you guys through the workflow of getting these over under shots and we'll see what kind of content we can get today. guys so we're out here in the water talking to you from the GoPro hoping to not have too many water drops on that thing but this is what it's looking like out here so I've got this big fat dome on the camera is fully rigged up and basically what I'm gonna do is oh man it's beautiful here too so I'm just gonna come out here and kind of Halfway in the middle, halfway in the middle shot for my camera, and then I just bring you guys over here a little bit, and then I'm gonna point down so I can get that focus down underwater, and then half press, and then I'm gonna compose, and you can hear it taking that shot. Man, this water is gorgeous. Now I'm going to show you guys how hard it is to push this thing down. It's not that bad actually. So normally I have a six inch port. It's a lot smaller than this. And honestly, it wasn't that hard to push down. So I'm not terribly uh, upset by this. And now I've got to take some free diving shots of Jake. Whenever he does get in the water. One more thing is obviously for Instagram, you want to be shooting vertical, take up that maximum real estate on people's screens. So what I do is I just put the camera sideways and it's the exact same thing, honestly. And it's actually easier to get your over unders because the top and the bottom side are both bigger compared to when you're shooting landscape like that. So let's try some vertical. It's not going to really make sense for this YouTube video to show it, but I'm going to get these shots anyways, just for myself.
dude. Okay, he's diving down, so I won't be able to show him these shots, but they look pretty good. And seriously, guys, this water is magnificent. So I'm gonna get right into filming him now, show you guys a couple clips that we get from this spot besides the over-unders. But I hope you guys like this tutorial. Give a thumbs up if you wanna see more tutorials like this so you guys can learn how to shoot underwater with me. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a really fun adventure for both of us, so thanks for watching. What's happening, Brandon? I can't say it on camera. <laughs> I'm trying to let him come back out. <laughs> so he's trying to let him come back out. If you know what we're talking about, then you know. It's so cold. It was freezing in that water eventually. It was super nice when we first got in. So when I was going in there, I put it on video for a second and I was looking at what the image looked like doing the over under and I was like, this isn't so bad. I think I can hit a video of this. So. As you saw, there was a couple clips in there where it was over under video, and I hope you guys thought it was dope because I thought it was super cool being able to film over under video like that. So basically, if I think you really just have to have a monstrous port like this one that I've got, then you'll be able to get these over under videos that are actually really clean. So I was stoked on that. Oh, and you need really calm water. So, you know, obviously in these springs, it's perfectly flat. It's like your swimming pool with nothing in it. like completely flat so we got lucky on that but otherwise i hope you guys were able to pick up how to shoot these over under photos at an extremely high quality it's something that i'm really proud of when i can get a really awesome over under shot and i know i get asked a lot like when it's a really good one you know we got dolphins in the bottom and the mountains in the top people are like how did you do that how do you what do you need how do you do this what camera this is how guys so the dome is number one i promise you and yeah so if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comments below and then also if you do get a really awesome over under photo now that you've seen the way that i do it or if these tips helped you or something you know leave a comment send me a link to your photo it might get blocked by youtube's comment thing but maybe you could just tell me like hey this is my instagram go look at the photo that i did here or something i don't know anyways i want to see the over unders that you guys create after hearing my tips and then if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment and subscribe and turn on my post notifications and uh right now please tell these guys to put a shirt on hey <laughs> I've actually never seen my, my white naked body. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, I wear wet suit all the time, that's why I'm YouTube not tan. <laughs> YouTube first. YouTube first right here. Alright, bye guys.